Names. Every country, city, or region has it. But when you browse through a world map, you'll notice something that can seem odd. Some places have the same name. Which is weird. A country, city, or region's name has pretty much one main purpose. To identify it and distinguish it from other ones. So why would you choose the same name as one that already exists? A lot of the times, there's other indicators. If two cities share the same name, they can be differentiated by the country in which they are located, but still, it it gets confusing. For instance, there's a city in California called Ontario and another one in Canada called Ontario and the abbreviation used for both is the same, Ontario CA. In the case of the two on this video's thumbnail, Georgia the US state and Georgia the country, you can make that differentiation but it still raises issues and I'm not even joking as I was searching for maps of Georgia the country for this video, this set of images came up using Georgia the country's flag and its symbols but on top of Georgia the US state's borders. This is a consequence of that name confusion. So this got me thinking, which other places in the world share their names and why? In this video, we'll be taking a look at some of those. First, we need to understand that there are three causes for different countries, cities, or regions to share their name. First, ones that are just coincidences. Then, ones that are references, one being named after the other, and also ones that share the same origin. In this third, we have the example of all the places in the world named after the same historical figures like Alexander the Great, Columbus, Hamilton, Washington. So now let's go through a few of the cases of places in the world that share the same name and find out which of these three is the reason why. Before we keep going with the video, a quick message from today's sponsor, Mech Arena. You probably know already, but Mech Arena is a brand new tactical team-based shooter with the most incredible mechs, weapons, and arenas. It's free to play and focuses on short and high intensity five versus five PVP. So you don't have to worry about spending one hour in a game. You can get through one in less than five minutes. I downloaded it and tried it over the past week. And honestly, I actually really like it. You get to have several mechs and customize them depending on what type of strategy you want to follow. If you play with friends, you can strategize and have one be the stronger mech who draws enemy fire while another has stronger weapons and a third with healing capabilities. Something good is that they constantly update and create events in the game. This month they're releasing two awesome new maps with a ton of special missions and great rewards that you win by completing as well as their first ever battle pass. Plus it is free to play on Android and iOS right now so if you want to try it out you can use my personal link or scan the QR code on the screen right now to get one Steel Reaper skin, 500 acorns, and 70,000 credits to help you kickstart your game. Now, back to the video. Starting with the one on the thumbnail, Georgia and Georgia. The origin of both the US states and the country's name is similar, but their common name seems to be a coincidence. Georgia the state is named after King George II of England, who granted the state its charter in 1732, while Georgia the country is named from the Russian word Gruzia, which was in turn derived from the Persian and Turkish versions of the name George, which are Gorj and Gurju, most likely in reference to St. George, locally revered. Georgia is said to have been the first country in the world to officially adopt Christianity. It's not clear when the term Georgia started being used, but historians believe it happened sometime in the late Middle Ages. In their native tongue, Georgians referred to themselves as the Kartveli and to their country as Sakartvelo. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing these. There are also a set of islands near Argentina called South Georgia, named after King George, but the third of the United Kingdom. Therefore, these three have the same name, but with different origins. However, we can argue that King George may have gotten his name from the saint, and in that case, there would be an indirect connection. Another example is Galicia in Spain and Galicia in Poland, both of them being regions. The Spanish Galicia gets its name from the Latin Galicia, related to the name of an ancient Celtic tribe that lived north of the Douro River. Interestingly, these Kalaechi were the first tribe in the area to help the Lusitanians against the invading Romans. When it comes to the origin of the tribe name itself, some say it comes from their light skin, similar to that of the Gauls, coming from the Greek word for milk, Gala. Others say it comes from the Celtic root Gal, meaning stone, and so the Kalaechi would be the stone people. The Galicia in Eastern Europe, on the other hand, might just be the Latinization of the name Alikina, another term for the region. Alik might come from the Kvalis, a local tribe as well. The fact the two regions have the same name is a coincidence, even though they have the same type of origin from the name of a local tribe. A third one is connected to Georgia as well. Iberia in the Caucasus region and Iberia the peninsula where Portugal and Spain are located. 
located. The Iberian Peninsula in southwest Europe is said to get its name from the river Ebro, Iberos, in ancient Greek. In fact, the river appears in the Ebro Treaty of 226 BC between Rome and Carthage, setting the limit of Carthaginian control at the river. It's not known what the Greek origin and meaning of Iberos was, but today, in Basque, the word Ibar means valley or watered meadow. But there is no proof that these terms come from ancient Greek, even though it would make sense. The Latin word Iberia, similar to the Greek Iberia, literally translates to land of the Iberians, while the Iberia in the Caucasus region had a different origin, although it is somewhat unclear and unconfirmed. One theory states it comes from a Colchian word, Imer, meaning country on the other side of the mountain, then evolving to Iberia. Others argue it comes from a Kartvelian language's designation of Georgian people who call them Sver, which derived from Ber, and so you could get Iberia from that, but it sounds a little far stretched to be honest. In this case, the two names being the same sounds like a complete coincidence. And also connected with Georgia is the term Albania, from the Caucasus region in the 5th and 6th centuries, sharing its name with the current country of Albania. Caucasian Albania was an ancient kingdom, which the Parthians called Ardan. In Georgia, it was known as Rani, and for some reason in ancient Greek, it was called Albani. Why they used this term is unclear. It apparently refers to something that is white, so many places in including Albania proper, share the name slash root word. But Albanians call their country Shkiperi, just like Georgians call their name something else other than Georgia. It seems that a lot of these name coincidences are due to their transformation into Latin or their translation into English, and that this isn't an issue in the native terms. In this case, there is either no connection or a connection in origin, but the two are also unrelated. Another example of a common origin, at least in name, are the Greek province of Macedonia and northern Macedonia the country. There was even a big issue issue between the two countries because of the name, only being resolved recently with the addition of northern as a prefix for the country's name. I won't get into the name argument, I did a whole video on that already, which you can find in the description. But the name Macedonia comes from the ancient Macedonian Kingdom, and today it's shared by the Greek province and the former Yugoslav country. Ancient Macedonia was named after the local people, the Makedonish tribe, and their name in turn comes from the ancient Greek adjective, Makednosh, which means tall and slim. In Africa, two countries share their name, Congo Brazzaville and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, or Congo Kinshasa, which used to be called Zaire. Each use these terms to differentiate each other, but both of their names come from the Congo River. This river, in turn, is named after the Congo, with a K, a Bantu kingdom, which existed near the area of the river at the time the Portuguese encountered it in 1483. The kingdom's name derived from its people, the Bakongo, an endonym said to mean hunters. They share the name because they share its origin, as they are located in the same region. The reason why there's two of them has to do with the colonial division of African territory between European powers. There was a Belgian Congo and a French one. Another example of four countries that share their name due to European colonialism are all the Guineas. Guinea, Equatorial Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, and Papua New Guinea. One was French, the other Spanish, and the other Portuguese. Papua New Guinea was ruled by the British, Dutch, and Germans. The etymology of Guinea is uncertain. The English term comes directly from Portuguese, the word Guinea, which emerged in the mid 50s century to refer to the lands inhabited by the Guineos, a generic term used by the Portuguese to refer to the dark-skinned African people living south of the Senegal River. It is believed the Portuguese took Guineos from the Berber term Guinawen, meaning the dark people, again sharing an origin but only being indirectly related. An interesting example of places that don't have the same name but share the same origin as well are Wales, Valonia, and Wallachia. These three have different although similar names, and their meaning and origin seems to be the same, meaning Romanized Celt or Romance Speaker. The term was used by the ancient Germanic peoples to describe inhabitants of the former Western Roman Empire, who were largely Romanized and spoke Latin languages. Wales is in the UK, Valonia in Belgium, and Wallachia in Romania. All areas, I think, occupied by the Roman Empire at one time and whose name emerged from those times. Most of the ones we've seen so far are either coincidences or just happen to share the same origin. But a good example of the other category, ones that are named in reference to each other, are pretty much all American cities which were named by colonizers after European ones. Cuba in Portugal and Cuba the country share their name. Some argue the island was named after the Portuguese region, but this is highly unlikely. And it is an example of a coincidence in name that isn't 
because of a reference. Historians believe the name Cuba comes from the Taino term Cubao, meaning where fertile land is abundant, this referring to the country, while the Portuguese name in turn comes from the Arabic Cuba, meaning tomb or shrine. So another coincidence with no connection whatsoever, but some do have direct connections in terms of references. Toledo, Ohio is named after the Spanish city of Toledo. In fact, in 1931, these two became the first two sister cities in the world. The reason for these equal names and direct connections are, in the vast majority of cases, the fact that American cities were named by European explorers or colonizers, which wanted to refer or pay homage to a European city. Although, like Cuba, there are some exceptions, like San Jose, the capital of Costa Rica, and San Jose, California's third largest city, both named after the saint, but with no direct connection. Cordoba is a city in Spain, but also one in Mexico, which was at the time their colony. The Spanish even called their original empire New Spain, as they did with many of its provinces, and the British and French followed suit. Pretty much any region name that has the new in front of it is named in such fashion, like New York after York, New Jersey after Jersey, and so on. St. Petersburg, Florida, and St. Petersburg, Russia, Russia are another example, and 31 of the 50 US states have a city named Franklin, for instance, this one not being named after European references, but sharing the same origin of an historical figure. Another obvious one that I mentioned at the start is Washington, the state, and the capital of Washington, DC. And then we have the case of places with very similar names, which would be enough for a whole other video. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that, such as Austria and Australia, Slovenia and Slovakia, Granada in Spain and Grenada the country, Guineas and the Guianas, Mauritius and Mauritania, Turkey and Peru, Albania the country and Albany, New York, and many, many others. So those are a few countries, regions or cities in the world that share the same name, some being complete coincidences, others being the same due to a common origin and others having been chosen precisely in reference to an existing one, perhaps as a sign of respect or a way of paying homage to it, leading to some confusion in a few cases, but which can usually be easily cleared up by adding some other reference to its location. Thanks so much for watching this video, subscribe if you want, and leave a comment below if you know of any other countries, regions, or cities in the world that also share a name, because I can always do a part two of this video. I will see you next time for more general knowledge.